Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. Like my last video, today is a little bit more for my co-workers than anyone else. If you haven't seen my last video, it's kind of like an extension. I feel like I didn't go into enough detail about all the new products, so I thought I would throw together another look and just kind of go more in depth just so that you guys have a better understanding of these products, what's in them, and if they are worth your money, and if you want to add them to your collection, which honestly, I think that you should. And once you watch this, you will, but that's just me. And if you don't know, I am a NYX employee. I love my job more than anything. My coworkers are absolutely incredible. I'm our team's product captain, and that basically means that I just have a bunch of product knowledge, and I'm in charge of kind of educating our clients and educating my team on all of the new products and all of the like ingredients and all the things like that. Today, we're just gonna dive into that a little bit more. So I did this look for you guys. It's a cute little like summer moment. I feel like the new releases from NYX are really, really good for or like no makeup makeup every day kind of summer makeup if that makes sense it's just very glowy and happy and like beachy themed I don't know that that'll make more sense later but um so if you want to see how I got this look and if you want to get more of an insight on some of their new products then just keep watching so I have my notes in front of me and we are just going to go in order of everything that I use yeah I'm excited. So the first thing that I did was my brows. I used the new Dip Shape and Go Longwear Brow Pomade. Now the cool thing about this is that you have everything in one. You have your spoolie, you have your brush, and then you also have your product all in one sleek little package. So it's not like you have a bunch of little things and you know you have to like scurry around trying to find your brush, trying to find the product, trying to find a spoolie, trying to find this, trying to find that. Like it's all together in one. The only thing I will say about that is it does all come apart so you do end up having a bunch of little pieces that you have to end up putting back together. Um, not a huge deal, just thought I would mention it. It all comes apart is what I'm saying. It is an ultra saturated waterproof brow product, okay? So it's not moving. Um, you have have to work a little bit quickly with it because it does dry down again it is waterproof and waterproof products tend to dry down and once they dry down you can't move them <laughs> all I'm saying is that you just have to work a little bit quickly with it but yeah it is a waterproof brow product like I said so it is really good for summertime you know we're sweating we're out we're doing things I don't know if it's really gonna be like that this summer because of COVID but regardless out sweating doing things but your brows are gonna stay in place so this is going to be really good for someone who is constantly out doing things and doesn't want their brows to like slide off. That is the brow. I started to do my eyes a little bit using the Escape Artist palette. This palette is stunning. It looks to me like a beachy themed palette. Like the top couple rows are like the sand and like, you know, the land. And then the last row has got those darker blues in there, like the water, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. But anyway. I love this palette. I swear to you that this palette has a new formula because the shadows are just so different from any like NYX shadows that I've worked with so far. So um, little thing about this palette, you get 40 shades for $35. If you do the math, it's less than a dollar a pan. You do get a variety of shades. You have tons of nudes, you have pops of color, and then you have a row of darker shades. You have blues in there. There are pressed pigments in this palette and those are shown to you on the back of the palette. Um, so if you are curious or wondering about those, you can flip the palette over and then it highlights each shade that is a pressed pigment for you. All of the ingredients of each shadow are on the back of the palette as well. The metallics in this palette are ridiculously soft, so I would be super, super careful if you're going in with your finger or with a brush too, um, because the first time I went in with one of those gold shades, I guess I pressed too hard and I broke the shadow, so I had to repress it. But yeah, the mattes are so buttery, they blend so beautifully, and they're so pigmented oh my god and the metallics are just stunning the shimmer is beautiful I like I'm so excited to continue to play with this palette all summer I feel like it's going to be a really good palette for beginners just because there are all those nude shades in there and you can experiment with those um but then you do get like an introduction to a little bit of pop of color as well you have some oranges yellows blues pinks things like that but yeah I really really like this palette and I cannot wait to continue playing with it you will see so many looks from me soon today I did a super like simple little 
summery look I did just kind of like a bronzy eye some mascara and then like a pop of highlight in the inner corner and also on the brow bone so that is my little eye look today NYX has four 40 pan palettes they have the swear by it modern dreamer escape artist and then they just released the ultimate what is it called ultimate utopia palette that one is more of like a, a muted like green and beige and like blue themed palette saw it online and i am literally about to place another nyx order because they keep releasing things like this and it's like let me let me live let me breathe like ah. yeah i'm super excited to get my hands on that palette as well and when i do you will see tons of reviews on that as well but yeah that is the breakdown of the palette and my eyes i went in with the bear with me cannabis sativa seed oil revitalizing spray girl this stuff is the bomb okay it is incredible i thought that the first spray they put out the first bear with me spray was incredible but girl this one i oof. The mist is a little bit finer than the first one, so it is a little bit lighter, and honestly, I like that. I don't like a heavy setting spray, and I don't really like when it, like, attacks me when I spray it. Um, so this one's really gentle, it's really light, it's really nice. So this spray is infused with caffeine and cannabis seed oil, so it's gonna give you that caffeinated hydration. It's really gonna wake your skin up. It really, really does make you feel refreshed. It gives you eight-hour hydration. You have that really nice hydrated skin for eight hours of the day so that's a pretty big deal and honestly like this stuff is so nice I, I stay spraying it all over my face it does reduce the appearance of pores I will say I have giant moon crater pores and I will spray this when I'm not wearing makeup and they literally get smaller I swear to you it's it's insane like I look like my skin just looks so much better and so much more refreshed and like different i don't know it looks new like i i have new skin you know i love this spray and then it also primes refreshes and sets so like the other bear with me spray it does do the three priming refreshing and setting after i sprayed my face i went in with the bear with me cannabis sativa seed oil daily moisturizing primer this one is a sunscreen as well as a moisturizing primer this one is $17. There are a lot of things that go into this that make it so pricey. You are paying not only for quality, but you're paying for ingredients as well. So this is, like I said, a sunscreen and a moisturizing primer. Um, it is SPF 30 and it's like recommended to use every day underneath your makeup. Um, it's not a practical sunscreen. I wouldn't go to the beach and throw this on your face and be like, I'm not going to get burned. This primer is infused with cannabis sativa seed oil. You get 24 hours of moisture with this. So once you put it on, your skin is going to be moisturized for 24 hours. You're not going to get dry. You don't have to worry about that. Um, it's great as a primer, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen, all three together. So I mentioned that this does have cannabis sativa seed oil in it, and that is really good because it leaves the skin feeling really calm and hydrated. And and we all love calm and hydrated skin. So those are a couple reasons why this is $17. I do think it's worth it. I applied it with a brush because I hate the feeling of sunscreen. I don't care what form it's in, primer, hydrator, whatever. Um, I hate the feeling of sunscreen. I hate sunscreen altogether. But I do like the way that this makes my skin feel. It gives it a really soft texture. It does smell a little bit like sunscreen, but it also has a little bit of that... Um, something smell i don't know what the smell is it smells like the radiant primer so if you know what the radiant primer smells like that's kind of what this smells like so then i just went in and did my foundation i used the um born to glow foundation 10 out of 10 i've loved this foundation since it came out it actually came out right when i got my nyx job so a year ago and um it's one of my favorite foundations it's only ten dollars and you get a ton of product, full coverage, like it's a dream in a tube, so. Then I use my Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer in Fair. This is one of my favorites. I'm a huge fan of the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation and the concealer is the same. So then I went in with a liquid bronzer. This is their Sculpt and Highlight. This is in the lightest shade and I just kind of blended that out. Love this for a really subtle little like bronzy contour moment. Blends out to be pretty sheer and it doesn't give you too much, but it does give you just enough like bronzy to the face that like you look like you've been in the sun <laughs> so it is definitely one of my favorite summertime products just because I can throw it on I can pop some powder on top and I'm done then I went in with my absolute favorite product I think of all of this like I didn't think I was gonna love this as much as I do but girl like I oh I love <gasps> This is the Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Jelly Cheek Color in Coral Dream. These are 
beautiful stunning i just oh i can't i can't get over it when i bought it i didn't realize it was a jelly i honestly i was like i, I don't know what this is but i'm gonna buy it because it looks cute but yeah so these are jelly blushes never used anything like this before and this is probably one of my favorite blush formulas ever it's soothing and hydrating because it has that cannabis sativa oil in it and it's a buildable cheek tint so as you can see as i'm applying it as i blend it out it shears out it goes on pretty pigmented but it shears out um but you can build it up and it doesn't get too intense you know what i'm saying so you know it looks like you're going in and you're gonna look like a clown but as soon as you shear it out you're gonna have this beautiful wash of color on the cheeks and i just i'm obsessed like i could put this on my face forever and feel content for the rest of my life this is also limited edition so i didn't know that i was looking at the website for um just little tidbits and details and things like that on the products and it did say that this product is limited edition so if you are interested and it looks like something that you might want to try out i would get it sooner rather than later because it is limited edition and once they're gone they are gone so i know personally i will be buying the rest of the shades because i'm obsessed and i might buy a second one of the coral dream because this is like the prettiest blush shade i've ever used in my entire life so just throwing that out there then i went in with my liquid highlighter this is the california beeman face and body liquid highlighter this is in the shade pearl necklace i am obsessed okay nyx launched a dry body oil in their loveless disco collection in the winter and that was like my favorite product of the entire launch i was obsessed i could not stop selling it to people i'd see someone come in and I'd be like hi do you want glitter and they're like what and then i show it to them and even if like they weren't interested i'd be like okay but you need this and then they would end up buying it and then some people will come back and be like girl i love this like everyone got one for christmas my mom got it her friends got it like everyone got one and everybody that i know that has it loves it so when i saw that nyx came out with something in a similar packaging i was like oh girl this is gonna be this is gonna be great this is gonna be fantastic so the formulas are a little bit different the winter collection one goes on like an oil and it dries down to like just a straight glitter this one is a literal highlighter so that's the difference there but these are high intense formulas they have reflective pearls in them as you can see it's super reflective super shiny super bright and stunning i'm obsessed it's infused with avocado rose hip grape seed and jojoba oil so lots of skin benefits there very very nice it's a non-stick dry down formula so what that basically means is it's not sticky when it goes on and it doesn't stay sticky it dries down and you don't have to worry about it um i did put it on my shoulders and i'm obsessed this is like a bot it says it's a body highlight Later as well so I can't wait to like go to the beach one day when everything is like open again and we don't have to worry about like dying and I can't wait to just like put it all over my body and then like run across the beach in slow motion just like glittery everywhere like that is like my dream right now is to go to the beach covered in highlighter so that's that <laughs> and then the final product that i used today was the filler instinct lipstick these are interesting i'm not gonna lie i don't know how i feel about them i love the filler instinct lip gloss that is one of my favorite glosses ever shade sparkling please is like my girl love her i have two shades of this the one that i use today is called beach casual it's obviously a nude as you see these are semi sheer shiny finish lipsticks they are like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid so when they go on they do look shiny like a gloss but they are in the form of a lipstick so these are plumping lip colors they are infused with ginger and hyaluronic acid but they do have eight hour hydration and they are vegan so if that seems like something that you'd be interested in they are worth picking up they are very very soft and they do melt a little bit when you put them on your lips just because of the body heat from your lips so don't be leaving these in your car because they will melt um but yeah and that is your breakdown for all the products that i got from the nyx launch i will be placing another order let me just tell you right now they've released a bunch of new liquid blushes and the utopia palette like i mentioned earlier and then um a couple other things that i saw that i really really want to get so <laughs> You'll be seeing more of these videos in the future but real quick just in case i did not run through it i just want to go over pricing um with all the products we're just going to go down the line and order um the dip shape and go longwear brow pomade is 11 dollars. i know i mentioned that earlier the sunscreen is 17 dollars. the spray is 10 
The cheek color is also 10, and then the body highlighter is 10, and then the palette is 35. Oh, and then the filler instinct lipsticks are $8. Thought I'd throw that out there. So really reasonable prices, and if they seem higher up in price than usual or like the normal NYX products. Um, that's probably because of the ingredients used to make the product. NYX has really been stepping it up ingredient wise. They've really been throwing in a lot of like skincare benefits and some of their like makeup products like the sunscreen for instance, the sprays. You know they've been doing a lot of really really cool things ingredient wise with all their products so I really really like that. I love this look okay not gonna lie I didn't really set my face I just threw a little bit of powder down and I'm very very glowy that's not usually something that I go for I'm very very much a matte girl because I have oily skin but I will say I'm digging the way that this looks I feel very summery and very like natural but yeah these products are incredible for summer everything is just amazing the jelly cheek color is just gonna be beautiful for like like a quick zoom meeting you know if you're like if you can't go to work and you just want to pop some color on just like tap that on you're good to go or like if you're going to the grocery store and you want to spice it up a little bit like throw on the highlighter and the blush and you're good to go like it's just so wearable and like for any occasion daytime nighttime you can build them up like i love all of these products especially that palette you can go neutral and then you have those darker shades to really spice up and like you know get ready so i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down in the comments what you want to get because i really want to know i've had so many people like ask me to review a bunch of this stuff so let me know how i made you feel let me know how these products make you feel because i'm really really curious if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye